Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Van Owen, and it's Tuesday, November 24th, and it's indeed a day four. And we start the show right now. Thanks, Van, for the opening. Alongside Kelsey Tegrar, I'm Michaela Bello, and thanks for joining us. Just a reminder, there is no morning show again tomorrow. Again, no morning show. Reminder, tomorrow, Wednesday, is a half day. It will be a day one schedule. Apologies for any tech issues. We do our best to work through them. We have a ton of announcements to get to, but first, as always, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first up. Concert choir members, additions for the Dig That Crazy Santa Claus solo must be completed before the Thanksgiving break. So today or tomorrow, please see Mr. Linnell with any time to, any time to audition. Sorry. Student Council will be having their annual field trip on January 6th. If you would like to go on the field trip, please pick up a form by the Student Council Bulletin Board. Forms are due on December 11th. Please check your email for a promo offer. Please see Ms. Sapio with any questions. Moving along. This year with the Tri-M Music Honor Society, we'll be collecting new and unwrapped toys for the United States Marines annual toy drive for Toys for Tots. We are, we are collecting any toys for a girl or boy ages 0 to 12 years old. There is a collection bin outside the band room door up opposite the library. The Toys for Tots collection will run through December 11th. The Toys for Tots is a great cause, and here's another opportunity to help out others in need. And here's another helpful fundraiser. The KHS Give Back Club has once again teamed up with our Shelter Our Soldiers and will be assembling care packages for homeless veterans to let them know that they are never forgotten and because it is never too late to say thank you. Our goal is to assemble over 100 care packages to be delivered before the holiday season. Help us reach our goal and make chari charitable donation that will make a difference in the lives of others. We are asking for donations of personal care items. Drop-off locations will be in Mr. Buser's and Ms. Wysocki's office and also in Ms. Scheibling's classroom. Help make the holiday season special for someone else in need. Again, drop-off locations are in Mr. Buser's and Mrs. Wysocki's office and Ms. Scheibling's classroom. So with Thanksgiving on Thursday, reporter Izzy Ferrari asked some KHS students a few facts or fiction questions about Thanksgiving. With more, here's the video. Hey guys, Izzy Ferrari here. I took to the hallways of Kinalon High School and asked students about Thanksgiving. Let's see what they had to say. Fact or fiction, the Native Americans use cranberries for medical purposes. I'll say fiction. Uh, I'm going to say fact. There are three towns in the U.S. named Turkey. On Thanksgiving Day in 2007, two turkeys earned a trip to Disney World. Is this fact or fiction? Fiction. Fiction. Fact. The average person eats, consumes 4,500 calories on Thanksgiving Day. Enough to gain 1.3 pounds. Mashed potatoes. What percentage of Americans eat turkey on Thanksgiving? 75%. Going shopping on Black... 
going shopping, not if you're a plumber. On Black Friday, plumbing is the plumbing. Uh, I, got, I know what it's to say, I just can't say. Going shopping on Black Friday, not if you're a plumber or not. Plumber, going shopping on Black Friday, not if a plumber. Going shopping on Black Friday, not if you're a plumber you are in. Plumbing, I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> Going shopping on Black Friday, not if you're a plumber you are in. Black Friday is the busiest day for plumbers. Shout out to Pat Pipes. Izzy and all who participated. A few other interesting Thanksgiving facts. The Pilgrim leader, Governor William Bradford, had organized the first Thanksgiving feast in 1621. He invited the neighboring Wampanoag Indian to the feast. The first Thanksgiving celebration lasted three days. The Pilgrims didn't use forks. They ate with spoons, knives, and their fingers. Benjamin Franklin wanted the turkey to be the national bird of the United States. Sarah Josepha Hale, an American magazine editor, persuaded Abraham Lincoln to declare Thanksgiving a national holiday. She is also the author of a popular nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Abraham Lincoln issued a Thanksgiving proclamation on, thir on 3rd October, 1863 and officially set aside the last Thursday of November as the National Day for Thanksgiving. The annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade tradition began in the 1920s. In 1939, President Roosevelt proclamated that Thanksgiving would take place on November 23rd, not November 30th, as a way to spur economic growth and extend the holiday shopping season. Congress passed a law on December 26, 1941, ensuring that all Americans would celebrate a unified Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November every year. So technically, Thanksgiving only became a national holiday in 1941. The Detroit Lions have played, played on Thanksgiving Day since 1930s. Since 1947, the National Turkey Federation has pre presented a live turkey and two dress turkeys to, to the president. The president does not eat the live turkey. He pardons it while, and allows it to live out its days uh, as a historical farm, on a historical farm. Finally, regardless how you spend your Thanksgiving weekend, enjoy your moments and be thankful for, for all that you have. As we enter the holiday season, be mindful of others a little cheer goes a long way. Moving along. As our fall season comes to a close, continued su success to our winter sports coaches and teams. You can catch updates or ac for activities, athletics, and news on our Twitter account at KHS underscore sports or on our KHS di district website. You can catch replays of the show on our KHS webpage, Colts news page, or YouTube. Just search for the Kinnon High School channel. Today's show was produced by Will Klein. Our director today was Lucy Amos. Our technical director was Tim Elefante. That's it for today. No show tomorrow. Have a great break. See everyone Monday. <laughs>